What y'all up to here, man? We got a little bit of everything going on here. We got my man Mac Farrell up in this piece, checking in. What's good, Mac? Welcome to the Kicking It with QC show. Yeah, Vince say he miss Spicy too. That's right, me too, man. Miss Spicy too. <laughs> oh, man. Spicy done went the way of the dodo. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool. It is cool. Spicy, that's what you're going to do. That's You know what? In honor of Spicy, this is what we're going to do. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's your girl, girl. Miss Spicy. Spicy, host of Spicy Conversations. Join me every Thursday night every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on Spreaker.com for some late night talk. I hope you're ready. You're ready. Spicy Conversations. <laughs> that was spicy. Yeah, y'all want to y'all want to check spicy? Find on xsquadaffiliates.com. Y'all can find all of the archive shows. xsquadaffiliates.com. That's right. So it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> I'm laughing at you, Vince. Say my drop for spicy. Yeah, that was crazy, right? I know. I know. I know. Hey, man, that mug, that mug was like real, man. That's why it's, that's why it's classic, man. That was. That was really real, man. It was, it was, it was. But hey, so out here in this world, I saw y'all talking about the uh, the weather lady out of Dallas who they were body shaming, man, because of her curvatures. You know what I mean? All right. So the lady can't help it that she's a little on the thicker side. I mean, the good thick, good kind of thick. <laughs> I, mean, I guess people don't understand that right there. You have to be uh, a certain group to know what that means, to know what good thickness is. But thick in all the right places and all that type of stuff. But anyway, she has a great shape for the folks and the brothers who like the thick ladies. So she is an eye turner for a lot of people. She gets up. And goes to the board and and does the weather. And she has been a, I think they're calling her Weather Bay. But she has been an IG sensation. Because, for real, I'm telling you, she's impressive when she gets up and points at the weather. It is, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I mean? So, I, I get a pass talking about news, ladies, because my wife, she's like, okay, you always sweating these news, ladies. Y'all already saw uh, um, Sharon Reed last week from CBS, from 46 CBS here in A. Y'all saw her and, you know, how she checked that lady. But, yes, yeah, she's a very attractive uh, news lady. And this weather bait is also a news lady. And we got plenty of others now. Ain't, there's others now. There's a whole lot probably across this country. But definitely in the A, man, it's a lot of nice news ladies in the area. But I get a I get a pass for the news ladies. My wife's like, yeah, you get a pass because she knows I'm watching the news. I'm not watching the news for the ladies, but she thinks I am. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> Angry Black Man said, please mention that Big L will be debuting at Santa down at the Kmart strip mall in Little Rock. Okay, so Big L will be down at Santa Claus at the strip mall in Little Rock. Give me the address. Go ahead and shoot me that address so that uh, he can get that exposure and people can go out there and check a, and, and take a look at my man Big L in his red suit. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> be sure to stay tuned in and we'll get that address for you if you're in the Little Rock area. Jeff Fox, you still there, brother? My man Jeff Fox is one of the newest X squad affiliates. He is the host of the Jeff Fox show down in that 305. I'm telling you, this dude here brings it, man. He's got awesome insight on sports talk. He's been doing it. He's been a professional for a long time. Him and his brother, I mean, him and his one half his partner, the sports brothers down out of the 305. Man, I'm telling you, they, they covered news of the 305 and the national area and they did it well man they this is like we followed two live stews they actually were going on a carrying that torch down on that end as well so 
My man Jeff Fox, one half of those sports brothers, and he continues to carry the torch himself on his podcast, which is found on Spreaker, also found on the Two Live Studios Radio Network, which we're broadcasting over now, and now on xsquadaffiliates.com, which I have to put that up. Actually, it's up there already. I forgot. It's under the uh, the Two Live Studios Radio link on X Squad Affiliates. So, be sure to follow my man Jeff Fox. Last weekend, he had a nice uh, coverage of a football game, a little league football game that went on down in the 305 between my man Snoop Dogg and my man Luke, a.k.a. Luther Campbell's team. They actually had a nice uh, um, game between their teams. My man Snoop came in, flew in, and actually it you know looked like it was an awesome event. So that's the stuff that Jeff Fox does. He does it big, man. He does it big. He's also got another partner on Rep Your City Radio, uh, found on the Roku box. So if y'all got Roku, man, or even on all your app stores, you can get the app for Rep Your City. So be sure to look up Rep Your City in the app store or on Roku. And, hey, my man, like I said, Jeff Fox does it big. He does it big. Um, what's good? Somebody want to rap? Give me a call. 404-735-0602. 404-735-0602. You can give me a call. Because I like talking, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling. <laughs> I can't get the song on my head now. Hey, but for real. If y'all in the area. If you in Florida. My man ABM down in Tampa. You down in the 305, Jeff. Uh, Mocha down in the 305. My man Vince up in Minnesota. My man Big Air in Arkansas. Doing the Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm laughing at y'all. My man Matt. I don't know where you at, Matt. But anyway, yo, y'all need to go ahead and put that ain't no telling out, man. Go and push that thing, man. Push that thing. Tell the folks on the radio stations. Email them. Call them, whatever. Request it. Get some love for... My man Rod Main, because like I said, it's 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 a he's a humble brother, man. He's he's humble and he's talented and he's going places. And like I said, especially my other boy Faro Jaro backing it up, and his other producer, both of them, man. I'm telling you that the album is it's 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 move is making moves, man. It's doing what it's supposed to do. And they are, the natural progression is them to go all the way up to the top. So, that is what it is. Uh, let's see what else. What else are we doing here, man? Hey, Ben. Shout out to my man, Ben. PS3 up in this piece. I saw you sneak through. Go through the back door. You know what I'm saying? Representing that Dallas down in the Texas. You know what I'm saying? Be sure to uh, request down in your area, man. We got to get that song played down in the Dallas area. You know what I'm saying? So, it's... It's a must that we blow this song up. So, we'll do that, man. JB Jennings, I see you, brother. You too. In your area. I think you're in Tampa as well. I know you're a Tampa Bay fan, but I don't know if you live there. Maybe you do live there. Um. Oh, Max and Jonesboro, man. We got a lot of folks representing that Jonesboro. Rob Main down in Jonesboro. Matt in Jonesboro. Uh, Sluggo down there in Jonesboro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody down in Jonesboro already. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Uh, 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 uh. What's good out here, man? Did y'all see? Did y'all see? It's, it's interesting. This big baller brand thing is is, is is taking legs on. You know what I mean? I can't hate no more. I can't hate. This is this is a business, man. It's a bona fide business. And... My man LeVar is about to create a new league. This league will be comprised of high school players. I don't know if they're current or they're graduating high school, but it's an alternative to going to college. Which, that that right has flack on it, but, I mean, to be successful in basketball, you shouldn't have to go to college. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people who went straight to the NBA. Kobe. Um, I mean, all kind of people, man. So, <laughs> Kevin Garnett, a whole lot of people, man. A lot of people who went straight in and succeeded. So, 
he actually has created a league. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat on him for it, but he wants to give these cats up to $10,000 a month for playing. I mean, my thoughts on it is, first off, this guy's a marketing genius, number one. He's a marketing genius. So, him being a marketing genius, it... I mean, you can't deny it because y'all still talking about this guy. Everybody talking about this guy. They talking about it like they talking about the Kardashians. It might not necessarily be always good publicity, but it's publicity. He's out there, you know. So people are hating, people are loving, people are debating. Why are we talking about him? Why are we hating on him? You know, all kinds of different things. But on the real, this it's attention. So my man's getting this attention, man. He's actually putting together this league. This big baller brand league, which will feature these kids. Uh, like somebody want to weigh in here. See who we got here. Hope this is a real call. <laughs> hey, this is KC. Who we got here, man? Who we got? Man, this is the angry black man call from Tampa, brother. ABM up in this piece. What's good with you, man? Man, just chilling, checking out the show, man. I wanted to get in on this LeVar Ball uh, topic you just started on. Okay, let's let's hear, man. What's your thoughts on it? When he initially came out, I thought he was kind of a, a fool because he was loud, brash, just said some outlandish stuff. Uh, but I think this concept um, is actually pretty novel. It's a great idea because the colleges are making a lot of money um, – off of athletes, they're only going for a year. Um, most of them aren't really. I mean, how much can you really get done in a year as a student when you're playing 30, 35 games at these major colleges? Um, my only, my only thought is, is the colleges and the NBA going to allow them to do it? Are they going to try to, you know, do Black something ball. behind the scenes where they don't, where they try to block him from getting arenas to play these games and stuff like that? So I'm waiting to see who he may have lined up with them to either give them extra sponsorship besides the big baller brand or give them legs so he can have arena arenas and things like that to be able to play this, you know, league in. That, man, that makes sense right there. I never really, I never really put it to that perspective, but you're right, man. That, that's right. And, 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 and I saw somebody, I don't know if it was a meme that was out there. They are like, why do you hate on this guy? They're like, this guy, Besides having a big mouth and always talking and, you know, talking sideways, they say this guy is a great father, great husband, don't have any baby, extra uh, women on the side, never been, in the, never been in, you know, in jail. You know what I'm saying? They actually listed all these different things, these attributes of him. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing really, quote unquote, negative about him, but... You know, I know he got a big mouth and runs his mouth, but <laughs> that's we yeah. we start hating because of that. But you yeah, can't find we, no dirt we, on this man like that. Yeah, we do that in our community. We talk, we go in the barbershop, we hear people running their mouth. We do that every day on, in the chat room. You know, we talking about our teams and different players and, you know, music, what rap artists we like. So we do it as a community. I mean, I think he has a great idea. I'm just waiting to see the business side of it. Um, that he doesn't get blackballed because he's going to want to play in arenas where, you know, he can get the people there to be able to pay these guys and stuff like that. I mean, I think it's a novel concept. I saw a bunch of uh, sports writers on Twitter just going in talking about how bad it is and different things like that, but it's just changing the norm. You know, we all get comfortable in the same thing we do every day. Yep. Um, how You know, how we played the game, how football was, how – Whatever we grew up on, if people don't like change, but his idea, you know, would be a novel concept from, you know, these guys going to college. I think Big L reached, uh, shared something on the Facebook group today where it was a sister talking about, I think it was like 30 Division One coaches making over $3 million and only one of them was black, which was Kevin Sumlin until Tagger got that, you know, increase at Florida State. And it was just talking about the black players maybe going to HBCUs and, you know, looking at why all the money is being made by the white coaches. So I think that's going to be LeVar's biggest challenge is getting through the red tape and, and somebody else saying, why well, we ain't going to let this ninja go with this idea. You know, we got this big, you know, billion dollar business with college athletics. 
Um, and the NBA, you know, if they go to a thing where they make these guys stay two years in college, you know, it's just keeping that, you know, that kind of cast system in place where they can.